Welcome to Growing Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about growing broccoli in the heat of summer within a cooler microclimate I've created. For those that do not understand what a microclimate is, let me just give you a brief overview. A microclimate is the local climate difference of a small area within the surrounding area that can offer different growing conditions. In my case, the surrounding area is my backyard. The conditions of microclimates are determined by plant orientations, exposure to heat, shade, sunlight, water, humidity, wind, and soil type all work together to create microclimates in your yard. Broccoli is a cool season crop. So growing quality broccoli through the hottest part of the summer is a tricky proposition. However, creating a cooler microclimate in my surrounding area makes it possible. In the month of July, my broccoli is healthy and not bolting. The direction of my broccoli garden bed is north facing. That keeps the soil cool and moist and east facing to take advantage of the morning sun as well as the sun's path. As you can see, the tree line and hedge gives it shade resulting in cooler air temperature, approximately several degrees cooler. I cover the surface of my soil in the containers with a layer of aged wood chip mulch, and this helps prevent evaporation in warm weather, it conserves water, and improves water tension. Soil that stays consistently moist will warm up more slowly and stay cooler than dry soil. It also helps regulates the soil temperature by acting as an insulation to keep the soil cool. This is a pile of my wood chips that has been aging for more than two years. As you can see, I'm using mesh covering over my broccoli crop to prevent the following pests that typically affects broccoli, like aphids, cabbage loopers, you know, those little white butterflies that fly erratically all over the place, flea beetles, white flies, and downing mildew. With some exploring, observation, and a little thought, you can also identify different microclimates for the plants that need it without affecting the ones that don't. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a microclimate that you're using? Have you identified microclimates and are you growing certain types of foods in your microclimate? Can't wait to see your comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.